first video here in the new space. Today we are going to focus on uh, sort of a staple in the Korean cuisine canon, one of my personal favorite cuisines. We're gonna be focusing on making sort of an all-purpose Korean stock, or a flavor base, using dashima in Korean, or in Japan, otherwise known as kombu. We're gonna pop off the heads of some anchovies, throw some kombu or dashima in there, and make a really flavorful fish juice. Sounds gnarly, but it tastes delicious. So with this stew, it's sort of like, almost like a skeleton key to a bunch of different Korean dishes. So you're not gonna be spending like eight hours on this like you would a veal stock or a really deep chicken stock. Uh, you're gonna achieve that depth of flavor, but it's only going to take about 30 to 40 minutes, and once you have it, you just freeze it, and you'll just have a ton left over in your fridge to pull from whenever you're feeling um, like eating Korean food. Yeah. So, yeah, here's how it's done. Let's begin with a way too dark overhead shot of what we're going to use to make this broth as flavorful as mortally possible. This first step is optional. We're going to soak our dashima in cold water for 30 minutes before we fire things up. Find that soaking the dashima in advance actually coaxes out extra flavor. Some people like to wipe off the white powder that clings to the outside of the dashima, but I don't bother. I've tried both wiping the powder and keeping it on and it's really just splitting hairs. After the 30 minutes, your dashima will look super perky. Bring the water and the dashima up to a simmer, and then remove the dashima. If left in, the dashima can cloud up your broth and also give it a slimy texture. Not good. The dashima base is finished, now it's time to add in the other ingredients. Drop in some garlic. I like to crush whole cloves to expose some of the garlic's strong inner oils. Pop in some green onion, topped and tailed. Make it a true allium party and drop one medium onion into the mix. In this case, I prefer dried mushrooms over the fresh stuff, but either work. Next is the dried shrimp. You can find these at most Asian markets. I'll link them below. And lastly, the star of the show, dried anchovies. These Korean dried anchovies really are the center stage flavor in this broth. Uh, you can find these at m pretty much any Korean market, but before we use them, we need to remove the head and the guts of these little dry guys. After removing the head, use your fingers to split down the belly of the fish. That little nasty dried black booger looking thing are actually its innards, so remove those and discard. Now you have a locked and loaded dried anchovy for your broth. Simmer everything together and let it run for about 30 minutes. And maybe it's a little extra, but I like to clear the foam as it comes to the top. Again, totally optional step, but to me, clear broth is better broth. 30 minutes-ish later, or once you've tasted your broth and it's super ultra mega deep, strain everything through a fine mesh strainer or a chinois like I'm using here. And just look at that, Kala. But for real, that is a pretty nice color considering we only spent about 30 minutes making this broth. I usually like to let things cool for 10 to 20 minutes before portioning out my liquid into deli containers. Just so that, you know, the deli container doesn't get all weird and melty or my skin doesn't just peel off. Then just date and label your containers and pop them, lid off, in the freezer until frozen solid. Or just use it while it's fresh and make your favorite egg-based Korean dish with it. Hint, hint. Alright, super simple. See, it doesn't take your whole day up like other stocks might. I hope this stock recipe gently opens the door to Korean cooking if you aren't already in the room. Anyways, take it easy, happy cooking, and I shall see you in the future in the next video. Peace.